Greetings YouTube. This is the next installment in my RPG collection tour. The first two things I want to show you are a couple of boxes. The Arduin Trilogy and the Traveler box. I'll show you that I actually still have the boxes. I'll show you the contents in a moment. Star Wars role-playing game, the Saga Edition. The Star Wars um, the Force Unleashed Campaign Guide. The Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Campaign Guide. Um, I actually would like to get more of the, the Saga books. That's the only three I've got, which kind of bums me out. But that's just the way it is. This here is the Encyclopedia Magica. And there are four volumes in this set. I think I have actually reviewed these in the past. I'm not positive. I inherited these from someone who joined a Christian cult and got rid of all his gaming stuff and gave them to me. Um, I never have any, had no idea whatever happened to the gentleman. His family tried to use me to find him. We never found him. Don't know what happened. Um, the pocket edition of Starship Troopers, which was a gift. Um, all Tomorrow's Zombies from All the Flesh Must Be Eaten. Terra Primate, Savage Roleplaying in a World Where Man is, is the Missing Link, which is a great way to emulate uh, the Planet of the Apes film. All the Flesh Must Be Eaten, Revised Edition. Pladium's Exotic Weapon, the original um, pamphlet. Um, edition, Weapons and Assassins, European Castles, Contemporary Weapons. The nice thing about these books is that you could use these in pretty much any system, Weapons and Castles, um, because the, uh, the rules are very open, it's basically comparing one thing to the other. Um, weapons and Armor, Weapons and Castles of the Orient. Volume 1, The Arduin Grimoire by David Hargrave. Volume 2, Welcome to Skull Tower. Volume 3, uh, The Ruins of Doom. 4, um, The Last Grimoire, 5, Dark Dreams by Dave Hardgrave, and The Delian Book of the Dead. And here we have some Traveler books. Supplement 1, 1001 Characters, Supplement 2, Animal Encounters, Number 3, Library data, I remember eight library data A through M. Supplement nine, fighting ships. Book three, um, worlds and adventures. Book four, mercenaries. And book five, the uh, high guard. I actually think I have the complete collection just spread all over the place. You know how my collection is at the moment. Um, two issues of uh, Future Imperfect, right? A, a, a cyberpunk um, role playing. Magazine, Dungeons and Dragons, Eldritch Wizardry. That's a reprint, not the original. Domination. This is a game that came that came out from the same people that did the original uh, Justifiers RPG. Domination, Sabo and Laser. Here is Justifiers RPG. Here is Cold as Ice, a module. Here is Poseidon, another module. Here is book zero for Traveler. Here is book two, Starships. And yes, I know my collection is kind of scattered everywhere. It's just the way my system works, or doesn't work. One, Characters in Combat for Traveler. Supplement four, Citizens of the Imperium. Seven, Traders and Gumboats. Three, The Spinward Marches. Uh, the Best of the Journal of the Traveler Aid Society. Uh, that's volumes one through four. Book four, Mercenaries. Uh, 
interface magazines. Uh, three, four of those. The AADA Vehicle Guide Volume 2 and the AAD uh, D Vehicle Guide Volume 1, or just the first one when it was released, there was no Volume 2. Ephemeris, a science fiction role playing game, which I think I did a review on Ephemeris not that long ago. The Poor Wizard's Almanac Book of and Book of Facts for Dungeons and Dragons. The Pocket Grimoire of the Divine for the D20 system. Blackmore's Dungeons and Dragons, again the reprint. And Dungeons and Dragons, Gods, Demigods, and Heroes. Volo's Guide to Waterdeep, which still has a bookmark in it. And Volo's Guide to Cormier, which I used extensively because I had a campaign set in Cormier. The Nemecon, which is a book I re uh, reviewed recently, uh, which is quite uh, useful for picking getting names. Role-Playing Mastery, a book written by Gary Gygax. Frankly, not the best work book I ever read on the topic. Um, the Complete Wargaming, Wargames Handbook, How to Play, Design, and Find Them by James E. Dunnigan, which is, I believe I found at a flea market or a yard sale or something. Uh, Necessary Evil for Savage Worlds and Savage Worlds Explorer Edition. Uh, the Role Playing Game and Resource Book for the Authority. Fighter Briefing for, whoops, Renegade Legion as well as Renegade Legion Fighter Briefing um, for two different um, divisions of the, of the conflict. Battletech Technical Readout uh, for 3026, the 2750 Technical Readout, the 3050 Technical Readout, and the 3025 Technical Readout. And because see, people asked me to do it, my original D&D books without their covers. These have varying degrees of wear and tear on them because some of them got wrapped, uh, covered before I uh, used before I covered them. Here's the original Fiend Folio, which is in pretty decent shape. My original Deities and Demigods. This is the one with the Cthulhu in it. The Monster Manual 2. Manual of the Plains. Oriole Until Adventures, which I fell in love with when that book came out. That one was a really, really wonderful memory. The Dungeoneer's Survival Guide. The Unearthed Arcana, which is a great book. The Wilderness Survival Guide. The Dungeon Master's Guide, which still has bookmarks in there from many years ago. And last, but definitely not the least, my most worn copy, the original Player's Handbook.